So if you want a great donut, you head to the donut shop. You grab a cup of coffee and you order a dozen. But when you realize you can make coconut cream donuts at home and do it easily, why not make them for you and the whole family? Now we're gonna start by making the filling and this only has three ingredients. You're going to get a cup and a half of coconut milk and get that into a mixing bowl. Now, one thing that really makes these donuts great is a rum cream liqueur, and we've got a half cup of that. You'll find this at your liquor store. And then finally, your third ingredient is a supermarket shortcut. It's a box of coconut cream instant pudding. Now, all that goes inside, we'll grab our whisk, and you're only whisking this until all that dry pudding mix is incorporated into the other two liquids. Another little secret when you're whisking, start in the middle, keep your whisk tight, and that way you won't wear what you're whisking and you won't spread it all over the table. Once you get all of that pudding incorporated and get all the little lumps moistened, we'll park this in the fridge until it firms or sets up. So while our cream filling is chilling in the refrigerator, we're going to make the donut batter. And this is really pretty simple. Just grab your stand mixer and we'll get started. Now we're gonna begin with all purpose flour. So your dry ingredients are gonna go in first. And what we're doing here is just incorporating the three. To that, we're going to add some granulated cane sugar and finally some baking powder. Now I'll lower the head of the mixer and I'm just gonna do a light mix here. All I want to do is just combine the dry ingredients together. Now I've already got ricotta cheese in my mixing bowl and to that, four eggs and some vanilla extract. Now we'll get our whisk. I'm gonna go slowly here because the ricotta is thick and we wanna break the yolks and incorporate that into this wet before we then incorporate all of this into the dry mixture. And if you start in the middle and hold your whisk tight, it'll pull everything into the middle of the bowl and you won't slop it over the countertop. You might get a little jiggy with it. All right, now this goes into the mixing bowl. And this becomes the donut batter. We're gonna make donuts, we're gonna go all out. Because the deep fryer comes up after this. All right, now. We'll lower the mixer head, put this on medium speed, and let that begin to incorporate. Once we get all of this incorporated into the dry ingredients, we'll cover this bowl, we'll park it in the fridge for 30 minutes, we'll grab an ice cream scoop, you'll understand why, and we'll get busy deep frying. So now comes the fun part, we're going to fry the donuts. And I promise you we would use an ice cream scoop to go into that chilled donut batter. We've retrieved our batter from the refrigerator. We have brought the deep fryer up to temperature. Let's get busy frying. Now we'll go into the batter with our ice cream scoop. Now these are going to sink and then they're going to rise. So don't get uh, panicked if they sink to the bottom. That's gonna happen. There's two. There he is. He's topside now. There's three and four. You don't want to crowd your fryer. And we're going to let these sink, then let them rise, and then let them turn golden brown on one side. But then we need to turn them, but don't get nervous about turning them. They want to turn over. The doughy side is heavier, so gravity will pull it when you just tap it. and It'll turn over, that side will brown, then we'll retrieve these. Let them drain, and then we'll get busy with that beautiful cream filling. So now comes the piping of these delicious donuts. They've cooled, they've drained. We're going to take a wooden spoon and simply make a little cavity inside each one of these donut rounds. Now, once we've done that, we take the piping we made earlier, we pipe it right into the donut, and then it's going to come up and out. Let it come up and out and form a little crown. Grab your spatula, smooth it out like so. Add a little more if you like. I think it's always good to add a little more. And you can either dip or sprinkle your toasted coconut. Why don't we just dip right into the toasted coconut? Perfect. And you've got a coconut cream donut that would rival any donut shop. You can make your own coffee.